I always thought I hated physics, and I used to ask myself why I had to study it if I was never going to use it. But then, I realized that the world has physics everywhere. Have you ever noticed that everything around you uses physics? Every car, every door, every bird, or every person is using physics to do the things we do every day. You don't believe me? Well, I will show you that physics is present even in some of the most beautiful kinds of art in the world, a ballerina. Ballerina combines strength and beauty to create a breathtaking moment. But even if you don't see it, physics is present behind all those turns and jumps. Like every moving object in the universe, each time a ballerina does even a simple up and down arm movement, she is doing work. But to do work, the ballerina needs energy. And where does this energy come from? Well, it comes from food, which has chemical potential energy. But to what kind of energy is this transformed? Well, when the ballerina is actually moving, it is transformed to kinetic energy. This is later transformed into thermal energy and released as heat. As the ballerina does more and more work, her body starts to heat up. But how does it resist so much heat? Well, physics comes again here. For it to cool down, the body sweats. This helps keep maintain the body temperature normal. But energy conversions don't end up here. Gravitational potential is also present, and it is an important part of dancing. When a ballerina is lifted, she has gravitational potential energy because she has the potential to fall. In every jump and lift, DPE is being converted to kinetic and vice versa. And we are only starting here. There are forces involved too. The three major forces acting upon a dancer are gravity, normal force and friction, and they are vital. Gravity and normal force actually give the dancer her balance, which is used to do those wonderful turns most of us will not dare to try. I'll try to explain it. For the ballerina to keep her balance, the center of gravity has to be perfectly aligned vertically with the normal force. This is even more difficult to do in points, which makes dancing even more beautiful and challenging. Sounds difficult? Well, you should try to do it. That is when the real effort begins. Friction is a ballerina's best friend too, because it helps her not to fall or slip while she is doing her pirouettes. The ballerina uses the third law of Newton of action reaction to do her amazing turns. When her feet pushes the floor, the friction between the floor and her feet creates the motion to the other side. This makes her turn. I told you dancing was much more than just doing steps and looking pretty. It involves many things that people don't see while they watch those pretty tutus move in the stage. So at the end of the day, Understanding physics actually made me understand ballet a little bit more. So remember that everywhere you go, either it's dancing, jumping or walking, physics is with you everywhere.